So, you found a class or all your classes in your Schoology account. It's there, but apparently empty. So now what? Let's go through four quick steps to get this empty shell into a great blended learning tool for use with your classes. I'll use my online learning class for this example. As you can see, a shell has been made for me, but the index shows zeros all around. It's totally empty. Step one, check enrollments. To check my enrollments, I just need to select the members tab. This shows me who is currently enrolled in my class. If students move classes, campus should reshuffle them and reflect this change in Schoology, but if not, I can always manually add or remove students from this screen. Step two, index versus folders. Before you can customize your class and build content, you need to decide if you want the index or folder approach to organize your class. Schoology comes with the materials index. This allows students to quick link to a list of all the assignments or discussions in a course. An index works okay if you don't have several items in each spot, but as you build more content, the list grows and is harder to use. For example, if I go into my RBOP course that has all my content in it, you'll see the index links takes me to a list that's very long. It would be hard for a student to know exactly where to start. It is also harder for me to move content around or hide items from students because I have to do everything one at a time. In contrast, if I decide to use a folder approach, I can group my quizzes, discussions, and content pages into units or topic folders so I can move or hide the entire contents of a folder in just one click. I can make one folder visible to my students and hide the rest so students don't get confused about where to go and don't get ahead of where I want them to be. For courses you plan to put a lot of content in, folders are recommended. If you want to use Schoology just for discussions, using the index might be just fine. Whatever you decide, it's recommended that you hide all or at least some of the materials index links. If you're going to use Schoology for discussions, use the hide feature to hide the index links to assignments, files, albums, and pages. If you're going to use folders to direct your students' paths through Schoology, then hide the entire index. This will make it much easier for your students to get to the content you want. Step 3. Import and or build your content. To create content from scratch, just use the Add Materials button to begin creating folders and pages. For more info on this, register for the Self-Paced Schoology 101 class, which details how to create content from scratch. If you want to use existing content, you can pull in course materials you've already made and stored in your resources, or all Jeffco teachers have access to the content created for the Virtual Academy. To find it, just click the Add Materials button and choose Import from Resources. You'll see your resources, but scroll down to the Jeffco Course Masters group under Group Collections. In this folder, you'll find content used by the Virtual Academy and other helpful items like Schoology 101 for students, a course we've created for all of you. You can pull any of this content into your class and modify it from there. The only special note is math courses. These courses require purchase of the online textbook. So if I want to pull Schoology 101 into my class as a helpful resource for my students, I simply put a check mark by the folder and choose Import. For large courses, this process will take a good while, but once it imports, you'll see it in your course. Always check, though, through the imported folders to make sure that the items came through in the order you wanted. Step 4. Set up your gradebook. If you imported content, you'll see some items in your gradebook. Access your gradebook using the link in the left column. You can use the bulk edit option to quickly set grading categories and due dates. You will need to create these grading categories ahead of time. Information for how to do this and how to customize many more gradebook and Schoology options is outlined in the Schoology 101 course, so enroll now to increase your Schoology know-how.